And Barb, we have learned that there are four times each day that connection can happen, including the time in those two chairs. Absolutely. When you are building that connection within your marriage, do you realize that you are building a resiliency for times of conflict or when marriage is really hard, and it will be from one time to another? But those four times that Gary's referring to of connection, these are times when we can have touch points during the day that can end up and add up to be life-changing. The first time is before you even get out of bed in the morning. What's it look like? Well, it's before you're really even out of the sheets. Perhaps one of you awakens and thinks about the other person and then says it out loud. Lord, thank you for my spouse. They are amazing. And I thank you and I pray that they have a great day. In your name, Lord, amen. A second point of contact is when you leave for work in the morning. Now recently, Gary and I said goodbye and he kissed me and I was gonna meet him at work later. But I heard the door open. He came back into the house where I was. He said, can I pray for you? I said, what? He <laughs> said, you said, can I pray for you? And you took my hands, you prayed for me, and I stood there and I thought, this is a man who's thinking of me before eight o'clock in the morning and going to God of the universe on my behalf. You connected to me and you connected me with God, our Father. It was a wow. Do you wanna know the third time that you have connection during the day with your spouse? Well, every woman can tell you it's between four and 7 p.m. It's when we're coming home from work or maybe you've worked in the home all day long, but we call it the valley of the shadow of death around our house because it is that time period for every woman under the sun when we are getting our list accomplished. It's when you're finishing your list outside of the home, you're running errands so that by the time you get home, you can build that that base to have a strong home, a great meal, and also a great marriage. When your man walks in that back door, maybe he gives you a kiss that means oh, he's got something else on his mind. Unfortunately, if you've got a list of 12 things, he's just become number 13 on that list. Why? He's entered the take zone. And for every woman who's the hub of the home and is a great wife to her husband, he needs to realize that if you're going to connect, it's a time where you need to give. And when you give, it might mean you give that sense of, I'm here for you. Can I take something off that list and do it? And when my husband has taken the vacuum, plugged it in the wall and done a little vacuum for me, oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, it hits the mark. Be still that, my heart. That is a part of connection that anything practical during the hours of the valley of the shadow of death 4 and 7 p.m. daily is a wow for a woman. And Gary, I know that for a man too, or a woman coming home who's got a lot of business on their mind, you've done something for years that has changed our marriage. Well, you know, a very specific way of explaining this is what a gentleman told me years ago. He identified a telephone pole about halfway between his home and his business. So when he would leave his business at the end of the day, he would be thinking about and reflecting upon his business for the first 10 miles till he got to the telephone pole. Then he would flip kind of an imaginary switch and begin to anticipate engaging his wife and his family. So when he came in the back door, he wasn't preoccupied, he wasn't on automatic pilot, and he would be able to connect to them because the first 90 seconds that a man and a woman connect at the end of the workday is the most significant part of the day and it will set the pace for the rest of the evening. Then he explained to me that the next morning when he headed out, he'd spend the first 10 miles on his way to his telephone pole, praying and considering and just thinking about his family, get to the telephone pole, flip the switch, put on the armor, and get ready to engage the workday. So when you come home at the end of the day, guys, you know what, you need to be anticipatory of engaging. You need to turn off the Blackberry, you need to kind of shut off the cell phone, and when you connect to your wife and then someday your kids, if you don't have kids yet, you know what, you will find that you'll be better prepared in order to engage them to set the pace for the rest of the evening. What a great way to have a great marriage. Yeah. Point number four, that fourth time of connection, is right before you go to bed at night. What woman doesn't want to be kissed before she goes to bed? Kiss your wife. Go to bed at the same time. Pray out loud, and it doesn't matter who starts the prayer. On some nights, I start praying out loud. 
Other nights, Gary does. But when we hold hands and we discover that oneness together, then when I think about those four times of connection and you add them all up, by the end of the day, you're growing deeper, more intimate, and more emotionally connected in your marriage.